my name's Vicki Soto, and I have a son, Michael, who's on the autism spectrum. I'm retired. I met Arthur through my next door neighbor, Pam, and one day she came up to me and said she had someone at work that needed some help. So I said, let's meet him. When I had dinner with Pam and Arthur, I could tell that Arthur needed help. His father died in 88 and his mother died in 2000, and he had been on his own ever since. Arthur had been living in a garage, sharing it with the other people, and that was not a very good situation. They would eat this food and they would threaten him to give him money. He was cooking in a microwave and he was washing dishes in a laundry tub. And I really wanted him to have a nicer place than that. I was pretty much on my own. I, really, I, didn't, I don't remember getting any help from anybody. I've never made above minimum wage, basically, almost my entire working life. Without Vicki, I, I, I don't know what would happen. I changed my life. The system is hard to get through. We tried with Social Security, and that didn't work. Food stamps, unemployment. Arthur had had no health insurance. He hadn't seen a doctor in forever. Decades, even. <laughs> Without going to doctors or dentists, because I'm, I'm rather nervous around people. Vicki helps manage, like, be my lawyer, advocate. I contacted so many people to, for help for Arthur, and I just got nowhere. And that's why I was so happy when I found out about the Alliance, because immediately when I talked to the first person, it was like, there's possibilities, there's hope for helping Arthur to be able to really enjoy his life and live his life well. I look at Arthur and it's really important to him to be able to make his own decisions. And in order to do that, he needs a little help. He needs some support. He needs transportation. He needs a, a job that'll get, pay him enough money so that he'd be able to continue to live independently. And I worry that as his wages keep going down that I can't afford to keep raising my end of the deal. And he deserves a life. What I really hope for for a regular job that I, I can handle, that has hours which would allow me to go have social activities and have enough rest to get off my feet and even get married. There are a lot of other Arthurs out there. I was able to help this Arthur get through. People forget that it's not just the little kids, it's also the adults that they become and they still need help. And you can't just close the door on those people because they need help just as much. And organizations like the Alliance need your help to help those people. <laughs>